guys you're welcome back hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bike Kran thank you so much for clicking this Christian boy reads the entire Quran in one sitting trying to find a mistake from the Quran but this happened he had a surprising ending so let's check it out this is Grayson Brock a Christian teenager who read the entire Quran in one sitting okay. He spent over 19 hours oh. reading the entire translation of the Quran in English. Okay. Subhanallah. I read the entire Quran in one sitting. As an American who has never read the Quran ever in my entire life, my professor one day told me, the Quran is not very long. You guys should read it. I, I was in a religious class. So mm. I did it in one sitting. Wow. Grayson is well known for making different kinds of inspiring and challenging videos on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. One of the reasons he read the entire Quran in one sitting was because of his religion teacher in college, whom he described as being funny, mm. and who also told him, the Quran is not long if you ever want to read it. Grayson promised to email the video to him when done. Before starting, he hypothesized that the Quran might be similar to Christian and Buddhist values, not radical inspirational some parts will be confusing and i am not aware of the arab history at the time what's interesting was that grayson was reading the holy quran without a shirt on and each time he completed a page he marked his body to indicate and at the end he had 424 marks on his chest uh, why? and i was pretty shocked okay because it literally says you shall show kindness to your parents. There's another verse that says you should ward off evil with good. I think the Quran and the Bible are much more similar than they are different. I think the Quran is much more to the point and it says don't worship anything except God. Don't worship any, any humans. Don't worship anything. There is only one God. There is only one supreme being. As the Bible talks about the Trinity and Jesus being the son of God and Muslims disagree with that. However, I think the ideas of how to live your life are very similar to both of these books. You disagree or agree with me. And is currently a student at University of Texas, Austin. He has over 30,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel as we write the script. This Quran video has gained almost 400,000 views since he posted it on his channel about four months ago and has over 3,000 comments with some admitting that despite being Muslims they have to never attempted read to read the entire Quran nor try to understand its meanings <laughs> subhanallah with almost 2 billion Muslims in the world this is a wake-up call to us to pay attention to the Quran and also find time in our busy lives to seek to know more about it Grayson didn't just read the Quran. He took several notes of some important statements as he reads. He was also amazed when he read the verse 136 of Surah Baqarah, emphasizing the fact that Muslims believe in the prophethood of Jesus and regard him as a prophet, not as a son of God. And he feels that's what's causing the argument between Christians and Muslims. Even though he feels the teachings are the same, as most times, Jesus was mentioned in the Quran. Good things were said about him. After reading the entire meaning of Surah Al-Baqarah, he summarized it, saying, Believers, submit all of you to God, and do not follow in Satan's footsteps. God is aware of everything. God is all-knowing. He went to say, He's worried about taking too many notes and prayed to Almighty Allah to make him understand as he sincerely wants to understand what he was reading and what to do with all the information. May Allah guide him towards Islam. Ameen. He also noted that one should fear God Almighty because the day of judgment is coming and he even went on to say he will have to stop sinning. Subhanallah. What an impact the Quran has. He summarizes saying, Fear God, don't follow your desires, be kind to your parents. Recently, a lot of non-Muslims have read the Holy Quran and were amazed at its accuracy, relevance, and timelessness. 
Some even reverted to Islam as a result of this. Even prominent pastors such as David Gold, Hilarion Hiji, and Cleopas Declan were not left out despite their vast knowledge of the Bible. Recently, Will Smith, a popular American Hollywood actor, opened up about reading the Quran during Ramadan. He said he was amazed about how many times Moses was mentioned in the Holy Quran, and he said he loved the simplicity of how the Quran was written and how easy it is to understand. Another Christian, McKay Orton, who is a professional beekeeper for over a decade, was surprised about what she read in the Holy Quran about bees. I heard there was a chapter in the Quran about honeybees, so I had to check it out and this is what I found. Chapter 16 is called The Bee. And Islam highly, highly respects the bee to the point where it's a sin to kill one. Okay, three key points, three things that I liked. Number one, it talks about honey. It says, there comes forth from their bellies a beverage of many hues in which there is healing for men. She was surprised how Islam gave respect to such a small insect, and despite being revealed more than 1400 years ago, has lots of information about bees that is accurate and has been confirmed by science. We have a video about her on our channel if you're interested. Indeed, these are signs for those who understand. Okay guys, see, this life, one thing I love about we human beings, we like to challenge ourselves, especially when we want to, you know, get our fat or we want to prove something. People like to take up some challenges. Just like the way I actually reacted to one video in which one guy trekked to a mosque, three hours trekking to a mosque and he was counting his steps. It's sound abnormal, right? Like, how can you be walking and you're counting your steps one, two? And he said the steps it took for that three hours was 350,000 steps. Just imagine the same Christian boy, you know, he decided to take the challenge and he was like, okay, fine, because his lecturer told them to, you know, try and read Quran because the Quran is not as big as Bible, so you can actually read everything in one day. So, he, you know, it took up that step. That boasted that okay, let me actually read this Quran. Let me know if there are differences or similarities between them. And he went ahead to read the Quran. He was mind blown. Like he spent 19 good hours to read the Quran. And each time he read the Quran, he would write the number on his chest. I don't know why he's doing that. I I just don't get it. I mean, I, I heard there was 400 and something, 420 something max on his body i don't know whether he was writing the number of the quran chapters i just don't get and i didn't see the need of him you know writing the numbers on his chest but how come he was able to sit down in one sitting he read all the old quran from chapter one to the end that was magnificent guys so he said he you know he tried to read the quran so i can know the difference between these two books i noticed that you know the bible spoke about trinity whereas the quran never believe in trinity or jesus being god he was able to learn a lot from the quran and you know the quran helps you to understand more about the bible and that was a beautiful one. i enjoyed you know this video but i'm totally shocked like i was he able to read the old quran in 19 hours that means let's say it started in the morning and it ended maybe in the middle of the night but i'm sure he would drink water i'm sure he would take some nap because you can tell me you sat down from morning to evening reading Whew, my goodness that was good that was good right he's a student no other students he's already used to read it so the next video was the lady that saw a chapter where i was the quran spoke about bees and you know that's the reason why the quran spoke a lot about insects you know insects is like a miracle in in the quran and that was really mind-blowing to her. This was a beautiful video. Let me know your point of view and let's keep this discussion going. Thank you so much for watching my real VIP. I'll see you guys to the next one.